morning. Welcome back. What a beautiful day out here. Sun's just coming up. Plus 630. And uh, we're going to hit that first walk of the day. We got neighbors here in town next door. Um, Bill and Art. Oh, we got a deer running right up there. Look. There is a deer just running right up his frickin' by from his driveway right now. Back to the channel. Today's a big day for us here, and I wanted to share it with you. So, <clears throat> this here is our Power Queen batteries. These are the new uh, lithium ferrous phosphate. Um, these are really high power, high drain, high capacity batteries. They're 12 volts, 300 amp hours a piece. So, we're going to tie two of them together to make 24 volts at 300 amp hours. And then we're gonna connect them two to the other two. So we'll have 24 volts at 600 amp hours. <clears throat> Give us a big depth of discharge. We're gonna rip these guys out of here. And we are eventually down the road here, not in the too distant future, gonna replace, well, add in another of these Magnusine inverters and the power distribution panel. Um, so this here gives us 4,000 watts of continuous power. And if we tie two of these together, we'll get 8,000 watts of continuous. I think it's good for like 6,000 watts up to like 15 seconds. But And these here, the Rover LI, specifically designed for lithium, 100 amp charge controllers. So we're going to go ahead and we got two of these bad girls. So we're just going to swap up the settings inside them. And we'll get these things all set up for solar on lithium. And hopefully today is a beautiful sunny day, as you can see here. Hopefully we can get these things all charged up. I, I know we will, no problem. And tonight we get to see how it is with a big giant lithium battery bank, which will have about six times as much power as we currently have. So, <clears throat> exciting. We, um... Got a couple of little small things going on around here today, but nothing big. I got some yard work to do. Dogs want to be played with, but they're going to be on their own for just a little bit. We got some snakes living out here. Nothing to do about that. I'm going to run up and see Norman Lynn here in a little while. Well, maybe this afternoon. Um, don't want to run, run the dirt bike too early today. As our neighbors are next door. Shut the system down here. Oh, I'm gonna shut that generator off. Upstairs, Jen sense just sense the power go off. Okay, we're off there. We're off there. Okay, off in triplicate. Off. Yeah, no, I'm I'm de-energized. Freaking the. These guys here are freaking hooked up via fuse inside here, but I have to unplug it and freaking thing bang boom. Give a little arky sparky action. Hell yeah. No loads on it helps, right? Hmm? Having no loads going helps that, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, plus you disconnected there too, so. Hey, look at that, no sparkies. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just some coincidentals on the load tester, which I wanted to use. <laughs> see what they test out like. Uh, let's see here. I could uh, should not touch the freaking ends, huh? Well, no, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, 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 you got rubber, yeah. Oh my goodness, I forget how heavy these things are, Mo. Um, I'm gonna put these in the way.
I mean, they're not oh, light. Jesus. But... <laughs> By comparison. Right. Don't they feel so much lighter than the other ones? Yeah, they do. Alright, I'll show you what we got going on here. So, get the bank all tied up, all wired in, and uh, pretty soon here he's going to be turning the power back on. That's what he's doing now. So these are the breakers for the solar panels. So they'll feed power to these charge controllers. And I'm going to get in here and make some adjustments to settings real quick. Can you pull this for me? All right, so we're going to parameter set. All right, I got to enter my password here. All right, and now we're going down to battery type. It's going to be lithiums. And the battery bank is going to be 300 amp hours per bank. You got to split it between them. So we're 600 total uh, communication. Yeah, comms between them. Okay. Yep. So now we're we're just going to adjust this lithium real quick. So we're user flooded solid. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. So with lith. Okay. When I set it to lithium, I can't make changes. I can only make adjustments in user setting parameters. So we're going to, that's what it is. We're going to user settings. Now I'm going to need to know the information and our battery capacity is not 440. It is 300 on this side. say noon the batteries are 100 percent charged regardless of what battery bank i've got and i turn on the water the water pump and it's i can instantly see a 60 amp draw and i see these instantly kick up 60 amps i'm not really no. i mean technically i'm feeding from the batteries because these are pushing it in through the batteries yep it's but, just going through the batteries back up but i'm not pulling technically from no. the battery i'm pulling from my panels yes it's just that's the conduit going. That's the, my middle guy. He's my middle man to get the power. Yeah, it's just running off the top. Fucking right. Off. Exactly. So you okay. know, it's like uh, you fill this up to full. Keep pouring over. You keep pouring, and that freaking the stuff that's coming off is the what you're that's pouring the in. That's solar. Right. right. It's pouring exactly. in. That's freaking going and whatnot. Okay. If you freaking keep it at this here level, and freaking water's going in, but freaking it's coming out. Right now you're losing you're everything. You're losing because right. freaking you're pulling off the batteries. And you're putting power into the battery. Especially if you're pulling more than you're putting in. You're exactly. definitely pulling from the battery. Yes. Or yeah. Perfect. And so right. that you can't freaking make it do more than what it's capable of. Okay. Doing. So now, your opinion with the battery bank we just put in, mm -hmm. um, and you know our panel setup, mm -hmm. you know the generator, mm -hmm. you know the inverters and the charge controllers, mm -hmm. how would you make our, well, what's your analysis of this system as a whole house year round system in the upstate New York area? Yeah, I live there. You think this is a good system? Yeah. Set up well. Mm -hmm. If you were to bulletproof this, what would you do? Oof. Another inverter? Um, yeah. Bring in a double, double your output um, as far as being able to accommodate freaking so you don't have those uh, brownouts. Yep. Um, charge controllers, you can't go much more. This is as high yeah, as you can get. Yeah, they're, they're, the charge controllers are fine there. Um, Add in some more batteries, maybe? Yeah, you could, but bring what I would do because of the investment that you made to see how these work. Yep. Because we're sure. getting, you know, that right there was only uh, 230, so 50, that's like 115, 115. It comes up to 930, 430, 430, 860. 860, so 430 amp hours is what that of usable of usable at warm temperatures at warm temperatures these are 300 amp hours so you have 600 amp hours but the beauty about these 100 percent depth of discharge yeah but you don't ever want to no right <laughs> Stop. okay you never want to go 100 percent because when you go 100 percent for the poof but you can right. get down to 90 percent right. right okay so I'm here again that's Whatever, uh, a lot more. Nine, 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 six, fifty-four. So again, five hundred and forty amp hours. And in the cold, those are nowhere near four hundred. We're looking at like maybe forty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but freaking that's freaking batteries all around. Freaking batteries don't like the cold period. Right. 
I don't care what battery it is. They don't like sure. They, they all degrade, yeah. just at different rates. Yeah. The, um, but yeah, no, you've got more amp hours now with this. Yes. Or yes. usable amp hours. A lot more, right. Than what you had there. Almost, you know, 540, 430. So freaking, you only have 90 amp, well, 90 these are, amp hours extra. So these are actually 620 in warm conditions. Because mm -hmm. they, they, when I actually tear them down and break them out and rate them all, it's, they were kind of 310. Yeah, I'm sure it tests that, but freaking, here's what the but label real is. Life and, here's right, what the yeah. label is. <laughs> so, so even if these are 600, if those are down around 40 in the winter, we're mm -hmm. talking about like, oh my God. Yeah. You know what? A 15x increase of usable power. So you know, I'm, I'm, I like I said, Brian, the the lithium tech is is super new for yes. off grid yes. scenarios. Brian, it's always been lead acid for off grid. And those work amazing for seven months of the year, mm -hmm. from April through <laughs> September. Those are amazing. Except for no the issues. One time of the year. I really need them. <laughs> you need them. <laughs> like all winter long, and yeah. Well, that's just because where we live. Right. You know, and it's unfortunately that's nature of the beast. Right. Yep, me and my dog. Chilling on the swing. She's not awkward at all. It's my buddy, as these guys are super jealous. Sitter's watching us playing on the swing. Jealousy. No, 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 no. Show me your mean face. Show me your warped face. Show me your mean face. You see the teeths. You see your teeth. Roar, look at that nasty old mess of a mouth. Dirty, hairy, stinky old man. That's all you is. But you're a good boy. Hey, Thor, go sit down. You don't want to be looking at him like that. You two go play. Go play. Thor, go play. He's got a guard me. In case this one goes rogue. You want to lay on top of me, huh? You can lay with me. It's okay. Alright, I gotta give this boy some love. I'll cut you loose.